ask an 18-year-old what their priorities are. Some may say graduating high school, going to college, finding a job. For one Kamehameha senior, he has something else on his mind, but he won't let a diagnosis stop him from living life. <laughs> Nothing can get between 18-year-old Noah Pilla and paddling, not even brain cancer. The Big Island teen and his Kamehameha teammates finished seventh overall in the HHSAA Canoe Paddling Championships at Ka'ehi Lagoon. Impressive when you consider that eight weeks ago, Noah underwent major brain surgery. I got a seizure at the beach when, after a paddling race. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't really know what it was. I didn't think anything of it. But good thing I was with my mom. She already knew. He's never had a seizure before. That was the first time ever. He's super healthy, has never had any medical problems. So it's really surprising. Noah was taken to the hospital in Hilo. An MRI discovered a cancerous tumor in his brain. I was like, oh, snap. Like, that's what I wasn't looking forward to hearing. But I just like was like, all right, let's get this over with. Like, what? This is really a thing, you know? So. But it was just like, okay, this is the thing. We gotta, we just gotta take care of the thing. The shock didn't even wear off before Noah and mom were flown to Queens on Oahu. The 18 year old underwent seven hours of intense brain surgery. So I was like, oh, that's pretty nuts. Um, but I mean, cutting open a head is kind of nuts, but I wasn't gonna, I don't remember anything. They cut him open from ear to ear and they removed the tumor and uh, the surrounding tissue. So they took a really big chunk out of his brain. Um, and that was intense. It took a while for Noah to wake up from surgery, but on day three. I started showing signs of myself. The first couple of days, he couldn't really use his right side of his body, which was concerning in itself. But then day three, he just started showing up. So he started moving the right side of his body um, and he's been progressing so well. He went through rehab to relearn how to write and speak. So we're all like surprised. They, they're like, we've never seen this to someone recover this fast before. Noah says he knows why. And honestly, it's just perfect that I'm like 18 and I'm in my prime basically to be able to fight this stuff. And of course, paddling, paddling, yeah, paddling and wanting to get back in the water. The doctors cleared Noah to compete, but he still got a long road ahead of him. Noah must still undergo chemo and radiation and plans to fly to San Francisco for continued evaluation. I just see it as a speed bump in life, you know, and I want to be I want to be someone that everybody can look up to for inspiration. And it's just just one of those paths that God put me on and uh, I just got to get over get over that little speed bump. Noah says cancer is no match for his mind. Mindset is everything. You got to stay strong in the brain, um, regardless if you get brain taken out. Um, you just got to do it and stay positive. He's an amazing, amazing young adult. I cannot call him one kid. It's a young adult, so amazing dog. What an inspiration. Thank you for sharing your story, Noah.